Here's the really tricky question. Does water stay in a river forever? No. That's not the really tricky question. So it doesn't stay in the river forever, so it had to come from somewhere. And it has to be going somewhere. So you can give me either one of those. Where did it come from or where is it going? Yeah. And it's going to the ocean, so we're going to the ocean, came from a lake. Where, where did the water, how did the water get in the lake? We'll go backwards on this one, how did it get in there? Yeah. It could It could have rained there. So now we have rain coming from our clouds. Well, how did the water get in the clouds? Microscopic water will go through the air into the clouds. I'm going to show the whole water cycle. We're going to evaporate water, we're going to make a cloud, and we're going to have it rain. Oh, I know how to make a cloud. So we I have, have I heard you saying that we have um, sun. Oh. So we have sun, and we're going to use a model here. In the ocean, we have our sun beating down, and our sun's going to evaporate water. In this case, it's actually the stove doing it, but the sun does it in the same way. It's just a little bit slower. You see all these tiny little water droplets forming on the bottom? And so all this water is actually coming from the humid air that's in the pan, the steam that's coming up. It is still frozen. It's a nice big piece of ice. So this is just cooling this air enough. It will melt eventually. But you can start to see these big droplets forming. And the droplets will get bigger and bigger and bigger until they're ready to rain down. Our condensation is it forms a cloud on the underside of our pan. And our precipitation is it